So we're going to continue and we're going to talk about the electromechanical coupling full coefficient. And what this tells us, this term is k squared, it tells us the ratio between the input energy and the converted energy. And if you look at a uh, log diagram about how the energy transfer occurs in piezoelectric electric materials, we put in some input energy. It's called UI. We get some energy stored, <coughs> and we get some energy converted. So for example, uh, I have a piezoelectric electric material here. Apply and say positive voltage here and a negative voltage here. This gets smaller, and po positive charges are gathered at the top, and negative charges are developed at the bottom. So we have. So what happens is that we input electrical energy, right? And the electrical energy input in this case is uh, due due to the. Uh, piezoelectric, you know, the permittivity under free stress. Because this is, as we talked about last time, it's the sort of outward perspective of the power supply acting upon the material. And then we get some energy stored, which I'm going to claim is the um, strain, of the primitive under free strain, which is the pure electrical energy. This is pure electrical energy. This is the mixed between electrical energy and mechanical energy. And then we get something converted, which is the pure mechanical energy. So in this case, we had the, uh, to write a little bit better, input energy has to do with this term um, equals the converted energy uh, this is not an equal sign I'm just showing you the basic parameters which are governing governing the situation uh, with the converted energy which has to do with the elastic compliance under free under constant electric field plus the um, stored energy which has to do with the uh, elastic or rather the permittivity under free, under constant strain. So all of these terms, uh, they are related to one another through this k squared term. Because I said before, k squared equals the ui on the bottom and uc on the top. So therefore, we can kind of understand that k squared has to be less than one greater than zero. This is a no piezo electricity, and this is a, a high quality. We're going to learn a single crystal high quality, uh, which is actually impossible to really realize. And the stored energy again is not really used to define this parameter, but you could be using the stored energy instead. Instead of the converted energy, you can use the stored energy, uh, but it kind of loses that piezoelectric aspect to it if, if, you, don't, if you don't consider the, the stored en the converted energy. Uh, you're wondering another thing, why we, do we have a squared term right here? There's no reason for it. This is the way that people give material property data must, somebody must have introduced it, and uh, we just kept going because that's the first guy introduced it. So similarly, uh, k is also between 0 and 1, uh, just as k squared is. And we can understand, that, for example, if k is uh, 0 0.5, k squared is 0 0.25. So it makes it look somewhat of a nonlinear scale because we squared it. But this k squared is the actual real value. Whereas K by itself is not really telling us about um, the true piezoelectric, you know, true relationship between these two is actually like a square root uh, of these of this number, which is not a figure of merit in itself. 
So let's go ahead and try to derive this, this, this parameter. And we can derive it two ways. We can either apply an electrical apply mechanical force and derive the electrical converted energy, or we could do the uh, applying an electric field and we get a uh, converted mechanical energy, uh, such as namely strain. So let's do the first case where we have um, a piezoelectric material uh, with a voltage attached to it, but we'll save that for the next video. Thanks for watching.